Hi there, global team member Jeffrey Mayo from Euphora, just coming at you with a little flash wave action today. So this is the Making Waves class itself. So I wanna show you guys the technique on how to create wave or natural looking curl into hair that's lacking texture. So a lot of times when I'm looking at curly hair itself, or wavy hair, which is the majority of the population. Um, majority of women have some kind of wave or texture to their hair as it is. They just don't know how to work with it properly. Many times as a hairdresser, when I'm behind the chair and looking and examining somebody's natural wave, what I'm seeing is limp areas or areas that don't really work whatsoever. So this is a great technique, and I want you to think of this perm as a technique and not just a perm. This is not the, the perm that your mom got in the 80s. Actually very beachy and very wavy. It's really, really pretty. So what we're going to do is we're going to create separation texture and actual stronger wave within this itself just by going through in a partial area of the head where the hair is a little limper, which tends to be the top. Sometimes it's the underneath. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm just going to do a partial perm on this. And we're actually going to do a specific way of laying in the solution of the perm itself to create texture. So what I've got here is I've got a star patterned section all on the top of the head here and I'll show you what that looks like. So I was just really random about it. Don't be too perfect about this. If you feel like your, your star pattern has to be absolutely perfect, you're going to spend an hour doing it and you're never going to find that section again. Don't bother trying to make it perfect. It's going to be easy enough for you to blend this in again in six months when you reperm it, okay? So what I'm going to do is I've clipped most of the hair out of my way in the back here. So I'm going to come in through the top of this and I'm going to work from the exterior of my shape in. So I'm going to begin on the outside of the star pattern itself and I'm going to work to the center of the head. You have a couple of options for how to wrap this itself and I do want you to feel creative about how you're going to wrap the hair. So when you're thinking about wrapping the hair, I want you to go through the edges here. Think about where we want the most support. So right on the round of the head is where the gravity is the strongest. That's where the hair is going to get pulled the strongest. So I like actually a tighter curl right around the edge of this, working into something that's a little softer. I find that gives a lot of support. So beginning in the back, I'm going to take one of the star prongs. I'm going to go through, I don't want to create straightness in here. In nature, we never see straight lines. We never see straight lines in nature. So what I'm not going to do is go through with my comb like this and take straight sections for the perm rods themselves. I actually want to go through with my fingers, which I know that's going to drive some of you crazy. But if we go through with our fingers, we're going to end up with a more organic flow within the wave itself. So I, I'm still going to section. I'm still going to work systematically. That's important. I'm still going to use my comb to smooth the sections to put the rods on. But when I take a section, I'm actually going to use my fingers to pull a section out like this so that it's not perfect, perfect, okay? So combing that hair smooth, using an end paper. Folding in like this. I like to use Fortify when I wrap my perms. And I'm going to use orange rods for the exterior of this. Wind my way in. Again, I want you to get creative about how you're actually going to apply the rods themselves. But important for you to know that this is not about the rods. It's more about how we're going to lay that solution in itself. Thinking about volume as I'm working this. That's why we're mostly doing perm techniques like this, is for a lot of volumizing work. So I want to be thoughtful about the volume as I'm wrapping this, making sure that I'm coming through and wrapping this properly.
working my way right around the circle. So you can see, I'm not being perfect about my sectioning here. We should have some variation. There should be. Within nature, that's what we'll always see is that variation. Working from the outside in like this is also going to help for me to separate the bottom from the top. Okay, so when the exterior of this is worked in, I'm just going to continue working in a circular pattern all the way through the center of this. Still working with just my fingers to section here. When you can learn to embrace imperfection, a lot of good things can happen creatively. Curly hair is imperfect by its very nature. I like bendy rods for some things. They are a little tighter. So again, like I want to work right into the center of this where I want lots of weightless gravity defying hair. Just like that, and we're done. Quick. Okay, so once all the rods are in, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna brick lay the solution for the Alloplex perm itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin with one complete saturated rod in the back. That's gonna allow for me to have a perfect test curl here for when the perm is actually processed itself. So I'm gonna take one entire rod and saturate through just like so. If you want to, well, definitely take these clips out. If you want to scrunch through, if she's got some loose wave down here, just scrunch through. Don't 
saturate this hair with the actual perm solution itself. But if you scrunch through this a little bit, what you'll find is you'll get a natural sort of textured look out of this. Maybe a little stronger wave just by doing that. So we'll apply solution on one whole rod. Then what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna brick lay all of the solution. So I'm gonna apply here and I'm gonna apply here on the rod, not in the center, because the hair is a fiber, it's a fabric, right? It's actually gonna absorb all the way through this rod, it's just gonna be a little weaker in the center. So we're gonna have stronger curl here, stronger curl here, weaker curl in the center of this. That's what makes the flash wave technique so impeccable. So I'm doing end, end here. Now on this next one, I'm only gonna apply on the middle, center of that section. We'll skip to the next rod. And I'm gonna do the end, the end, and the middle, leaving out this portion and this portion here. So again, we're being really inconsistent here. We want inconsistency in the actual tightness of the curl itself. That's what makes this look natural. Now I'm gonna go back to applying end, end, middle only, end, end, middle, end, end, and then we'll move into the interior of this. So I'm going to do end, middle, end, we'll do end, end here, maybe we do a complete saturation on this guy, and then right here we'll do center, end, end just like so. We let the, process, the perm process for about 25 to 35 minutes. We checked that one rod that we saturated the back for a perfect test curl. What you're looking for there is unwinding it, pushing it forward, and getting that great S pattern to form. As soon as that happened, we rinsed her for about five minutes. We then air neutralized her for two minutes. We then applied neutralizing solution for two minutes. We then took the rods out scrunched the entire hair with more neutralizing solution, and then rinsed completely after five minutes with the scrunch. That gives this a really natural, very, very soft, soft look. So what we have here is loads of volume at the crown. You can see the nice blending that happens all the way through the shape. This is still gonna look stellar if she wants to blow this out, piece of cake for her, but she's able to scrunch this with some product like let's say Sea Spritz, or with the curl and foam itself and get this to be really voluminous, really gorgeous, voluptuous curls.